There's a term that organizations use for an event that takes place that affects the running of the company the way it was, and yet does so in a positive way. It's called positive turbulence. And I think that is what the arrival of Hardik Pandya back into the side is. And I think India are waiting for him to return to achieve that balance. But his arrival is going to lead to a lot of consequent changes. And let's see what that means. For a start, ever since he got his injury, Pandya's, well, his, his recovery has been talked about, but his recovery has largely been about batting. He's gone there, he's played the D.Y. Patil T20 tournament, he's bowled a little bit there, but I'm not sure he's ready to come back and bowl 10 overs yet. He's had so little cricket behind him. So the Pandya that we saw before the injury was someone, look at the World Cup as well, was someone who was batting at number 7, was giving you 7-8 overs, some days even 10 overs, was playing the third seamer's role if required, but he was able to do that because India were playing Kedar Jadav at number 6. And in those days, Jadav was giving you 3-4-5 overs, some days 6 overs. And so Pandya could play that bridge role, Jadav and Pandya at 6 and 7. Now, for Pandya to bat at 7, somebody in the top 6 has to give you overs. There's nobody in the top 6 who gives you overs. Jadav has been dropped from the side. That means the return of Hardik Pandya will see him returning to bat at number 6. Because I think today he's giving you 4-5 overs, really. No more because India's got to uh, handle his comeback very gingerly. So the moment Pandya's only 4-5 overs, he has to bat at 6. And that means Ravindra Jadeja comes, stays in the side for the very reason he came back into the side, which is that none of the bowlers batted. So you wanted someone who could bat at number 7. But look at what he's done since he's come back to number 7. I think he's ensured that there should be no debate about his presence in the side. You'd like him to take a few more wickets, but look at, he is effectively with Pandya going to be your, your fifth bowler. His economy rate of under 5 since he's come back is, is outstanding. He's got a batting average of about 30-35. His strike rate is close to 90. So those numbers almost ensure that you don't leave out Jadeja. But look what it does when you have Pandya 6, Jadeja 7. Now look at the conditions. If the track is slow, it's going to turn a little bit. You can play both wristies. Uh, Bhuvneshwar comes back to bat at 8 and Bumrah bats down the order. And you've got three spinners, two quicks and a seam of bowler. If you think you still need support for Bhuvneshwar because he's just coming back, then you have Bhuvneshwar Kumar, Saini and Bumrah and play only one wristie as India have been doing since recent times. So the numbers for the wrist spinners when Pandya was playing, which are excellent, because in the games that Pandya played, you saw the wrist spinners did a lot more bowling than they did when, say, Pandya was not playing. But that reality is no longer valid because Pandya is now no longer your frontline third seam. So it affects the team. I think it affects it really well. But who does it affect the most? It affects someone who's always been on the sidelines but has often made the most of his opportunities. And that is Manish Pandey because he now finds himself in that sandwich role between KL Rahul, who the team wants to bat at number five, and Pandya, who has to now bat at six. And suddenly, in spite of such a good record in recent times, there is no place for Manish Pandey. Or is there? The Indian team management has gone out of its way to say we like KL Rahul batting at five. Even though there is no Rohit Sharma at the top of the order, you're going to have to find somebody else to open the batting. Whether it is Shuman Gill, whether it is Prithvi Shaw, somebody else has to open the batting because KL Rahul is batting at five. I'm not suggesting that the team management just jettisons what it's doing all the time, but I do believe that if you told KL Rahul, listen, would you mind opening the batting to allow us to play Pandey at five? KL Rahul would say, don't change the topic. He would put on his pads and charge out to bat. And so this is what I'm saying for these three games, because these three games are really games in isolation. There's, they're not leading to anything in particular. So I would actually have KL Rahul opening the batting with Shikhar Dhawan. You have Kohli at three, Shreyas Iyer in excellent form at four. A reward for Manish Pandey for his good form. You don't let him out of the side at five. Then Pandya Jadeja and then your bowlers. I think that's the best team to play.